Hi everyone, welcome to ITS workshop. In last couple of videos, we have seen what is SDFS. SDFS stands for Hadoop Distributed File System, and we have seen what are the commands uh, when we want to interact with SDFS. We have seen ls command, copy command, and cat command, etc. And now we'll discuss about Java API for SDFS. So you can have APIs in different technologies like Java, like Python, like C++ and using those APIs application programming interface we can interact with our Hadoop cluster and we can perform all these read and write operation on basic file system. So there is Hadoop cluster and whatever command we run in the last videos those commands are also using Java API for SDFS. So in this video, I would like to focus on how a typical file read is happening in Hadoop cluster. So when we talk about Hadoop cluster, we know we have two components. One is name node and other one is data node. So name node is having the information of all the blocks, which block is residing on which data node and data nodes are the nodes where the real data or the actual data blocks are residing and we have seen the typical topology how one block is getting copied and the copy of one block resides on other node and another, another node in the same track and then another node in the different node we have seen the topology and now if we if we think about a typical file read then it can be performed using various uh, uh, classes you can say but if if we talk about file system then we have distributed file system and using distributed file system we are performing this reading operation so this is our client node client node has got its own jvm this is client jvm and HDFS client is contacting to name node. So let us see this step by step. The first step is the client opens a file it wishes to read by calling open on the file system object. So client, this is the client and this is calling the open method on distributed file system and distributed file system then again calls the name node using RPC to determine the location of the first few blocks in the file. So in first step only this open method is getting called and in second step this open method this distributed file system contacts to name node and it retrieves the location of the blocks on which location the blocks are residing. Then for each block the name node returns the addresses of the data nodes that have a copy of that block. So here it is the name node, it returns whatever the address is there, whatever the address information is there with it, with every block. And then the distributed file system returns an FS data input stream to the client for it to read data from. So this di distributed file system is the main class and which returns FS data input stream. So input stream is used for further reading. So FS data input stream wraps a DFS data, uh, DFS input stream. FS stands for file, file system data input stream and DFS stands for distributed file system input stream. So there is DFS input stream which is already wrapped in FS data input stream which manages the data node and name node IO. So this DFS is responsible for managing both data node and name node input output cycles. And in the third step the client then calls read on the stream. So our now client has got FS data input stream. So client is calling read on FS data input stream. 
now this fs data input stream is fs input data stream which has stored the data node address for the first few block in the file connects to the first data node for the first block in the file so we uh, name as we know that in second step we we return uh, name node return the address of first few blocks and this fs data input stream has got the, those address of few blocks so when client calls read read method in this third step then fs data input stream finds out the first data node on which that block is residing so it contacts to the data node and it performs further reading then in fourth step data is streamed from the data node back to the client which has called which calls read repeatedly on the stream and then in fifth step when the end of the block is reached data dfs input stream will close the connection to the data node then find the best data node for the next block so as we can see in the diagram when read is getting called so fs data is input stream context to the data node and it performs read operation for the first few block and it it goes uh, on cycle it it keeps on reading until it reaches the end of the stream then it contacts the best data node for reading further or the next blocks so since uh, there there can be some files which are residing uh, out of out of that file few blocks are residing on this node and few blocks are residing on some other node so first of all it tries it contacts the first node data address which it retrieved from name node and then after reading those blocks it tries to connect the best data node where the rest of the blocks are residing then in sixth step it request for connection close so after reading all the data first few blocks and the remaining nodes on the from the best data node then in the second uh, then in the sixth step when the client has finished reading it calls the close on the fs data input stream so fs data input stream has got this close method and client has finished its reading now it's call, it calls close method with fs data input stream so that's how a typical read is happening let me summarize it again sdfs client calls open method on distributed file system distributed file system contacts to name node and name node returns the addresses of first few block to distributed file system now distributed file system returns fs data input stream so fs data input stream itself has got dfs data input stream and the dfs data input stream is responsible for name node and data node management in hadoop cluster so then sdfs client request read operation or calls read method then fs in data input stream contacts to the first uh, according to the address provided by name node it contacts to the first few block address data node and then it perform read operation after this operation is done all the blocks are read then it goes to the next block for next block it finds out the best location where the best data node location where the rest of the blocks are residing then it again perform read operation and it goes on until a client until all data all data blocks are read or a client performs a close request so a client is asking for close or it is calling close method then the close method then fs data input stream closes the connection and that's how a full file is being read in input stream so in next couple of videos we'll see we'll perform these programs and we'll try to retrieve some sample data from Hadoop cluster will put one file from her.
all Hadoop cluster and then we'll try to read data from it. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please click on like button and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot.